Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start the 2021 caucus in a new in a new uh, venue. Um, the goal of today is to make sure everybody is heard. So you have your car. If you'd like to talk, take your green card and wave it out if you want to nominate somebody. Um, or you can stand outside. We have Michelle Burgess over here who's looking for your green signs to talk. And we have Liv Leone over here um, looking on this side. And we have Sophie with the roving mic so that you don't even have to leave, okay? Um, I think all the directions are on your green piece of paper. The moderator will go over everything. The only thing I will say is the caucus certificate needs to be signed by Wednesday, whatever day in March that is. On your green paper, it has the date of if we held the caucus last Saturday. So there is a new date. If you are nominated, please, please, please sign the caucus nominate uh, certificate today. All right, our first order of business is to nominate a moderator. Are there any nominations? Tom Zanowski? I'd like to, to nominate Liz Sellen. Is there a second? Any other nominations? There's a motion to close the nominations. Second? Aye. All in favor of closing the nominations, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? All those in favor of Liz Sillen as our moderator for today? Aye. All those opposed? Liz Sillen, come up. First time I've ever had to raise the microphone. All right. So. Oh, and I get that. All right. So. So the first thing I guess we're going to do is we're going to ask for nominations for a secretary. Do I have a nomination? Scott. Um, nominate Mel Williams. Is there a second? Okay. Uh, any other uh, nominations? Motion for nominations to be closed. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor of uh, closing nominations? All right. Aye. All opposed? Okay, nominations are closed. All in favor of Mel Williams as secretary, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? I would declare it unanimous. Mel, you're in. as you know, is to nominate people who will serve as the caucus nominees at our uh, annual elections. Uh, we, your green paper, you'll see that we have a number of uh, positions that we're going to be looking for. Uh, and so we're going to be asking for nominations and then a second. Uh, so we're going to start with the, uh, are there any nominations for the Office of Select Board? Come on now. This is a startling silence. All right, so uh, Wendy, if I see that there are no nominations, what do I do? Uh, we'll ask everybody to think about it and we'll come back to it at the end. All right, you hear that? We're coming back to it at the end. So there's, I'm sure there's a great candidate out there. Uh, okay, our next is assessors, 
one assessor for the term of three years. I hear a nomination. Nominate uh, Mike Skibiski. Is there, Mike Skibiski is nominated. Is there a second? Second. Second. Uh, are there any nominations? Move that nominations be closed. Is there a second? Second to that. All in favor of closing nomination, say aye. Aye. Opposed? There is seeing none. All in favor of Mike Skabiski as assessor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Declare it unanimous. All right, Board of Health. Do Are there any nominations for a member of the Board of Health? It's a three-year position. Ken Kushai. Ken Kushai is nominated. Is there a second? Second. 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 Any other nominations? There's a motion that nominations be closed. Is there a second? Second. All in favor of closing the nominations, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nominations are closed. All in favor of Ken Kushai, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Declare it unanimous. Planning board, we have one position for five years. Do I hear any nominations for the position of planning board? I nominate Ellie Kerr. There's a nomination for Ellie Kerr? Kerr. Kerr. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. Any other nominations? Thank you. Second for nominations be closed. Second. All in favor of closing nominations, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Seeing none, all those in favor of Gabrielle Kurz for planning board, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Declare it unanimous. Another planning board position. This is a two-year position. Is So Sarah Snyder has resigned from that position. Is there any nomination for this position? I nominate Amanda Hanley. I've got to remember that. Amanda Hanley, is there a second? Second. Is there any other nominations? I move the nominations be closed. Thank you. Any a motion that nominations be closed? Is there a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor of closing nominations, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nominations are closed. All those in favor of Amanda Kurth for planning board, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Did I just screw up? Yes, you did. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Amanda Hanley. Amanda Hanley, sorry, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Declare it unanimous. My apologies to Amanda. <laughs> All right, library trustees. We have three positions for three years. Uh, are there any nominations? I, Wendy, I need a, I need a pen. <laughs> what do you need? Uh, uh, so I can write stuff down. I got it. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm old. I can't remember anything. All right. Okay. Nominations for library trustees. Can you vote for that? I nominate three people for library trustee. I nominate Lauren Starr, Hollis Graves, and Emily Pettit. Okay, we have nominations for Lauren Starr, Hollis Graves, and Emily Pettit. Are there any other nominations? Anyone want the nominations to be closed? Thank you. There's a motion that nominations be closed. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, so do we vote these together, Wendy, all together? You can do them all together. 
Okay, so I'm going to ask for a vote for Lauren Starr, Hollis Graves, and Emily Pettit for Library Board. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Declare it unanimous. Thank you very much. All right. Moderator. I don't think he's here. Is he here? Uh, any nominations for moderator? Motion, a nomination for Mike Wisseman. Is there a second? Second. Are there any nomina other nominations? Uh, Mike, we'll be closed. Motion made that nominations be closed. Is there a second? Second. All in favor of closing nominations, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Declare it unanimous. All those in favor of Mike Wisseman for town moderator, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous again. Cemetery trustees. Uh, that's one position for three years. Hey, I nominate Scott Bergeron. Scott Bergeron has been nominated. Is there a second? Second. Any other nominations? Thank you, sir. There's a motion the nominations be closed. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> All in favor of closing nominations, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. All those in favor of Scott Bergeron for library trustee, please say aye. aye. Cemetery. I meant cemetery. <laughs> Not what I think you do. Cemetery. Please say aye. Aye. All those opposed. Declare it unanimous for cemetery trustee. All right. See if I can pull this one up. We have two positions for the elementary school p committee. Do I have any nominations? I name, nominate Peter Gagarin and Ariane Avella. I nominate Kara Gorey. Sorry, my pen froze. I nominate Allison Booth Mayo. Nominations of Allison Booth, what was her last name? Allison. Mayo, Kara Gorey, Peter Gagarin, and Ariana, sorry, Arabella? Michelle. Are there any other nominations? There's a, mo a motion that nominations be closed. Is there a second? Second. All in favor of closing nominations, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, declare it unanimous. Now, okay. what do I do? You have a choice. People can vote by raising their hand for each candidate. So raising their, and we'll have tellers. Or um, you can write down two candidates on a piece of paper and we'll collect them and count them. It's my preference. Um, it's, it's up to you or the... Uh, do you want to give a try of, of, of a vote, a verbal vote? Well, I think we need to put up their um, things oh, so we up, can count them. Uh, put up your, your green cards. You want to try that first? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see, got paper? Yep. Yeah. So we've got uh, two tellers here. Let's go. Do I need to appoint them officially? Yep. So where are our tellers? Is this right on here? We, um, How many? to having contests at our caucus. This is very exciting. So we have Olivia and Michelle who are going to be the tellers. 
We're going to go down the line. I've written them not in the order in which they were nominated, but in which they came out on my pencil. So uh, if you're allowed to vote for two people, as we, and we have four candidates, um, and if you'll hold up your green card when I uh, ask for that person's name, if you're voting in favor, and the tellers will count, so please hold it up. Do they ask if they want to Oh, I, I'm sorry, there, are there, would anyone like to hear some speeches from the candidates? Yes, people would like to hear speeches from the candidates. All right, so Allison Booth Mayo, would you like to speak? Hi, I'm, I'm Allison Booth Mayo, good morning. Um, I'm a resident of uh, Sunderland of over 10 years. I live here with my husband and my two kids who are in seventh and fifth grade. And uh, I care a lot about the Sunderland community, in particular the Sunderland Elementary community. And I've become really passionate about the need to return our kids to full-time in-person schooling. There are gonna be a lot of important decisions to be made uh, at the school committee coming up, <laughs> as there have been over the past year or so. Um, and I think that I'm well equipped to do that. I'm a lawyer by profession and I'm a critical and independent thinker. Thank you. Good morning. I want to echo a lot of what, uh, what she just said. My name is Karen Lori. My husband and I moved here in 2014. I'm the mother of two toddlers, um, two or three years old, and we hope we will be joining the Sunday Elementary community um, in our kindergartners. Uh, I'm here today because I'm concerned about democracy and I'm concerned that, um, as we can see, by not having anyone to select person, uh, I'm not surprised by seeing the pattern start in the elementary school. So we see four people that are passionate and want to solve uh, issues at hand that our children face. Uh, I'm not new to education. I was a classroom teacher at the Deerfield Elementary School for 16 years, 10 years in second grade, and six years in third grade. I served in many um, committees. Uh, I also am an independent thinker. And I go a little bit more beyond that, and I am a problem solver. Uh, I don't bring attention to the problems without already having some form of a solution in my mind. Uh, to prepare for today, I contacted Ben Barczewski, the principal, and required a mask tour uh, after school hours. That was eye-opening to me. I've been out of the classroom for three years, so I am so glad that I did that. I also reached out to many people that had a great impact on my educational journey, starting from elementary school all the way through graduate school at UMass. Um, I'm here for my kids, I'm here for the kids of Sutherland, and I would appreciate uh, your support. Thank you. Hi, my name is Peter Gagarin. I'm on the committee currently. Uh, I actually filled an expired term, a uh, term that was unexpired, had about six months left. This was about a little over three years ago, so I did the last half year of that one and then the last term for three years. Um, I've been involved with town affairs for 30 some years, so uh, running the finance committee, being on the building committee uh, that built the new library, even though it's not so new anymore. Uh, and then recently on the school committee, my wife and I, uh, we don't have any kids, we don't have any grandkids. Uh, and you could say, well, then what are you doing on the school committee? But uh, I felt that, um, first of all, that there's a, uh, certainly a place for me on the school committee. I have a perhaps different perspective. Uh, I start in terms of my in terms of my priorities in, 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 in doing stuff on the school committee, the first overall priority is that I want to have a school in town that the town is proud of. That not just the parents are proud of, but that all the residents of town are proud to have uh, the school and that we have as good a school as possible. Um, in this time of, uh, well, we're always going to have budget problems. There's been budget problems in this town uh, as long as I've been here. And uh, I bring to the committee uh, perhaps a different perspective than other members. Uh, I have uh, a good knowledge of how uh, municipal finance works. Uh, I have good uh, relationships with the folks in town hall. Uh, I think another priority is I think that uh, when you deal with 
think in town here, they, they, they're general words, but the words that come to mind always are you want to have communication, you want to have respect, you want to have trust, you want to have honesty, you want to have transparency. Okay, all these things uh, help you get to decisions, get to consensus in a much better way than, uh, than the alternative. So that's been part of what I've tried to do throughout the time. Uh, beyond that, um, I guess, you know, there are many times when I've, you know, we've had a lot of issues in the last three years that we've had to deal with, and there are many times that I wonder, you know, boy, life would be easier if I wasn't on the school committee. But then I look at it and I say, no. I said, we're doing good things. It's important to do this. And uh, I would thank you for your vote if you care to vote for me. Um, if you don't, well, I ran for selectman once about uh, 30 years ago. I got talked into it. I really wasn't sure about it. So my slogan was, which I didn't tell anybody, was either way I win, because if I win, I win. And if I lose, I win, because I don't have to be selectman. So, um, anyway, I'm not running for like selected this year. I appreciate your vote, and, and I'm really also delighted. Uh, we get at our meetings, we get wonderful public comment from people that care about the school that come and tell us what they think we ought to do. Unfortunately, half of them say one way and half of them say diametrically opposed, but that's part of the challenge of, of making decisions. But we have people that are involved, that are passionate, and that also, uh, you know, believe in communication and respect and honesty and openness and so on, and that's just great. And the the, the, the additional candidates we have here today is just a great sign for this town. So thank you. Peter. I'm going to speak on behalf of Ariana Bella. My name is Jessica Corwin. I'm a current school committee member. I nominated Ariane um, for a variety of reasons. She's a professor at Amherst College. I trust her to listen carefully and develop nuanced positions on issues that are going to continue to come to the school committee over the next three years. She's the mother of two young children who will be, uh, the older of whom will be a Sunderland Elementary student next year. I also nominated her because she's a woman of color. Our town government is wonderful and it's very white and our town is not a white town and our student body at the elementary school is not white. It would be wonderful to have um, some more racial diversity on our school committee. Um, she also lives with a disability, so she would be bringing uh, the perspective of um, disabled people to our discussions and considerations. I hope you will consider voting for Ariana Bella. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to, I uh, will go, um, am I on? Yep. Uh, so we'll go down the list. Remember that you can vote for two of these four candidates and hold up your card so the tellers can count. So all those in favor of Allison Booth Mayo, please hold up your cards. And remember if you're in your car, to make it visible.
very much. All those in favor of Peter Gagarin, please raise your card. Thank you. And Ariane Arabella. Well, that was mine. Thank you. You did a fantastic job. Oh, thank you. I'm so pleased to see it. We did. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, that was a fun one to do. Hi, that's a cold wind. <laughs> Gagarin and Allison Booth Mayo uh, have got the most votes. So Peter got 25, Allison 19, Kara uh, Ariana 17, and Kara 14. Thank you so much. That is fantastic to have. As I said, the two that did not get nominated can come and take out nomination papers. Uh, so I think. Wow. All right. So. This says that I say next that all caucus nominees must sign their caucus certificate if they choose to accept their nomination. This needs to be done before you leave today or by March 10th, which is the new date due to the cancellation last week. Uh, nominees need to pick up campaign finance forms and town meeting is June 12th and the town election is Saturday, May 1st, 2021. The last day to register to vote is April 12th, uh, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. for the annual election. Um, before we end, I do want to ask, anybody want to reconsider for selectmen? Select board, excuse me. All right, well, keep thinking, bring nominations in. Wendy, how do I end us here? She's not listening. What? Someone who will need to nominate them. Yeah. What? Nominations. There we go. Thank you. Uh, I, I believe second to close the caucus. That's a month. Wait. Did you wait. Do the last motion? What? Right here. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more motion. In the case of death, withdrawal, or ineligibility of the candidate <laughs> or candidate so nominated, in the vacancy or vacancy shall be as follows to be filled by the Board of Selectmen. Is there a second? second. Thank you. I think we'll just say all in favor. Aye. Opposed. Thank you. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Aye. All in favor. Aye. I'm not going to ask for opposed. Thank you very much. <laughs>